All right, this is the uh, part two to the good news. February 11th good news. And uh, this is the part two, yes, the extra. Here's the extra news if you really want to see more news. That's what it is, it's the extra, the extra news. The special extra news, part two. So, news. On to the news. My sugar, on to the news, this way. Uh, Yahoo. Yeah, it rejected the offer from Microsoft, right? So Microsoft orders for, offers $42 billion, and apparently they're going to try to extort Microsoft for another five or six or seven or 12. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, it's really, I think it's kind of stupid. I mean, I don't, you know, there's always strategy involved with these bastards. I mean, if I was Microsoft, I wouldn't give them a penny more, but I wouldn't give them $42 billion. billion. I mean, it's fucking Yahoo, for Christ's sakes. What the hell do they do? They don't do anything. Um, I mean, I don't buy anything from Yahoo. They got all these crappy, cheesy stores and other things, and you say, Jesus Christ, I'm not going to do that again. Uh, you know, I think one of them Yahoo stores actually stole my credit card number, the bastards. But anyway, besides the point. Um, so, you know, Yahoo is talking to AOL like they're going to merge with AOL. Uh, you know, so that'd be two loser companies joining together. So that would be kind of, I think that'd be to Microsoft's advantage because those two could go broke pretty easy. And then Microsoft would buy up all the mess for, you know, $5 billion, because that's all they're worth. I don't even think they're worth that much, to tell you the truth. But anyway, so who knows? It's going to be sort of interesting to follow, you know, because you piss Microsoft off, you expect something to happen. But, you know, they might just say, well, what the hell, we got a ton of money, we'll just throw another $8 billion on the pile and see if they'll go for it. Uh, but if, uh, you know, if worse comes to worse, it could get, could get dicey for these corporate guys just because the shareholders are going to get pretty pissed off if their stock goes back to $18 a share. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's sort of interesting. So Starbucks, uh, they're apparently going to offer Wi-Fi and uh, through AT&T, you know, at uh, some of their stores. And some of it would be free and some of it would be paid. And I didn't even read the fucking article because I'm saying, who the fuck cares, Starbucks? You know, it's just such a rip-off. I mean, obviously, whatever they give you, you're paying for it because they're charging you $10 for a fucking cup of coffee. I don't know why you people pay that shit. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, coffee. You can buy a whole jar of it for, you know, three bucks. Fuck. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> So Iraq, yeah, so I already did that story. Yay. Lots of bombs. Japan, you know, apparently there's a Marine uh, accused of raping a 14-year-old girl over there, and uh, so it's not good, and uh, kind of reminiscent of like 10 years ago, there was one of these kind of cases, and you know, it really did create a lot of problems because we were kind of lazy about prosecuting the guy, and it was pissing off the Japanese, and blah, 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 and I don't even know why we still have people over there anyway, you know. Let them just build some old boats of their own and stuff. They don't need a big army. Just give them some boats and let them take care of it. All right, Huckabee. Staying in the race, he says. So apparently a lot of the Republican higher-uppers are saying, hey, get out of the race. You're just making it hard on the party, and we want McCain to win, and so we don't need you screwing up things. And But he's saying, hey, I'm in it. You know, I got a chance, theoretical chance, that if, uh, you know, McCain gets hit by a car or something, or says the N-word or something, maybe I could get 90% of the vote in all the rest of the states. Maybe I can do that. Um, but, you know, really, theoretically, the guy doesn't stand a chance, I don't think. So, anyway, we're moving on. Let's see if there's anything else. Texas. I was reading a story on Texas, and I don't even think it was a news story, because they're talking about, oh, there's a drought, but it's kind of a normal drought. It's kind of the average drought. And so then they go on just talking about how great Texas farming is, and you're saying, who the hell wrote this article? It's got to be somebody working for the Chamber of Commerce of Texas or something. So anyway, there was some concern about the cotton crop. But guess what? It's like 10 weeks till they plant the goddamn crop. So a lot of things can change, you know, between now and then. And, uh, but I didn't know this about Texas is the number one producer of cotton. Actually produces 50% of the nation's cotton. Now, I did not know that. Uh, so, sort of interesting, right? I mean, it's good to know these details. Okay, good to know where your cotton is coming from. All right, and finally, uh, last but not least, the UN. Yeah, they're going to they're going to have some discussions about this climate change stuff. And uh, but I don't know if they got any new information. You know, same old reports they've been mulling over for years and years. Same old bullshit. So I don't know if it's any new information will be revealed. I know just talk is cheap. You know, it's uh, we got to need something. We need something decisive, you know. 
But just as a side note, this has been the screwiest weather I ever remember. I mean, December was like February, and January was like March. And now February has been sort of like half March, but now we're moving into January in the middle of February. So it's been pretty fucked up. And uh, I actually think they, they did some report that yeah, on the, you know, the East Coast of the United States, the New England part of it anyway, that uh, there's definitely been a, you know, one degree rise in temperatures over the last decade or whatever the fuck it is. So, I mean, there's definite tangible evidence of this warming trend. So anyway, that's it. That's the news. So, sorry if I offended any dead people. And uh, till the next time, when uh, hopefully nobody will be dead in the news. Well, I guess nobody. There'll be people, but there'll be like people over there and way over there. But no, like people right here in front of us will be dead. Look at that. They fell off again.